Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me this morning for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a verse or so of God's Word, and then we try to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that cup, and we'll get started. Our uh, devotion today from the Cato is entitled, From Prayer to Peace. Philippians 4.7 is our verse. It says, His peace, speaking of God's peace, will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Believing prayer is what ushers in God's peace in our lives. Not a random, nebulous, earthly peace, but His peace imported from heaven. The same tranquility that marks the throne room is what God offers to you. Do you think he battles anxiety? You suppose he ever wrings his hands or asks the angels for antacids? Of course not. A problem is no more a challenge to God than a twig is to an elephant. God enjoys perfect peace because God enjoys perfect power. And he offers his peace to you, a peace that will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Paul employs a military metaphor here. The Philippians, living in a garrison town, were accustomed to the Romans' sentries maintaining their watch before any enemy could get inside. He had to pass through the guards. God gives you the very same offer. His supernatural peace overshadows you, guarding your hearts. God oversees the world. He monitors your life. Listen carefully and you will hear him say, everything is secure. You can rest now. By his power, you will be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Notice also that it says, it passes all understanding. God doesn't worry. He doesn't wring his hands or pace or practice deep breathing, though he understands that we sometimes do. When you find yourself in need of his peace, remember this. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Isaiah 26 and verse 3. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.